For which phi's of m and n does a complete bipartite graph k sub m comma n contain an Euler path or an Euler circuit explain? Recall that an Euler path is a walk through a graph which uses every edge exactly once. A graph has an Euler path if and only if there are at most two vertices with odd degree. An Euler circuit is a walk through a graph which starts and ends at the same vertex and uses every edge exactly once. A graph has an Euler circuit if and only if the degree of every vertex is even. Notice above I've listed several complete bipartite graphs. Let's determine the degrees of the vertices because we'll be using the degrees in the explanations for which when k sub m comma n has an Euler path or an Euler circuit. First we have the graph of k sub one comma one. Notice both vertices have degree one because one edge emanates from each vertex. Next we have the graph of k sub one comma two. The top vertex has degree two, the bottom vertices have degree one. All the vertices in the graph of k sub two comma two have degree two. In the graph of k sub two comma three, the top vertices have degree three, the bottom vertices have degree two. In the graph of k sub three comma three, all vertices have degree three. In the graph of k sub three comma four, the top vertices have degree four and the bottom vertices have degree three. So again, the important thing to remember here is that a graph has an Euler path if and only if there are at most two vertices with odd degree, and a graph has an Euler circuit if and only if the degree of every vertex is even. We will now consider three cases. Case one is when both M and N are even. For example, in the graph of k sub two comma two, notice all the degrees are even. If both M and N are even, then K sub M comma N has an Euler path and an Euler circuit. Case two is when both M and N are odd. For example, in the case where we have K sub one comma one and K sub three comma three. If both M and N are odd, then K sub M comma N has no Euler path and no Euler circuit given M and N are not both equal to one. So the only exception is the graph of K sub one comma one where notice how there are two vertices with an odd degree and therefore the graph will have an Euler path. So if M and N equal one, then the graph has an Euler path, but no Euler circuit. And then case three, which is more involved, is when M is odd and N is even, or M is even and N is odd. This would be in the graphs of K sub one comma two, K sub two comma three, and K sub three comma four. If M is odd and N is even, or if M is even and N is odd, then K sub M comma N has an Euler path only when M or N is two. For example, in the graph of K sub one comma two and the graph of K sub two comma three, the reason these two have an Euler path is because they do have at most two vertices with odd degree. So again, if M is odd and N is even, or M is even and N is odd, then k sub m comma n has an Euler path only when m or n is two. In all other cases, if m is odd and n is even, k sub n does not have an Euler path. And finally, if m is odd and n is even, or if m is even and n is odd, k sub m comma n does not have an Euler circuit because not all vertices will have an even degree. I hope you found this helpful.